one of many Anki videos to come, but this one is on one of my favorite add-ons that all of you gotta get. Let's do this. What's up everyone, back on the small screen. You're already looking at my Anki. Um, and I want to show you, it's already, I haven't studied any cards today because today just started, it's 12.45 a.m. But you will see yesterday, I did 1,471 cards. Which brings me to a perfect transition into my favorite add-on. It's called the Anki Heat Map. And I want to show you guys all how to get it. So the first step is going to be that you're going to need to Google Anki Heat Map. But if you don't want to Google it, I'll link it right below in the description. When you have the heat map, what you'll see is... It pretty much discusses what it is here. The problem I have with a lot of these Anki add-ons is they don't describe it that well, but this one does a decent job. Um, but if it doesn't, I will still explain it, so don't, don't worry about it. Anyway, all you'll need to do is go all the way down, and it says right here, this is the code you need to download. So copy that, and then go to your Anki, and at the top of your Anki, there should be a tool section that has add-ons. And when you go to add-ons, all you'll need to do is do browse and install, type the code in, and press OK. Um, and it'll say download successful, please restart Anki. And now you pretty much exit out and open it up again. When you open up your Anki again, you should see this. And this is the heat map. It actually retrospectively goes back. So if you download the heat map today, even if you were studying Anki three months ago, it has data from three months ago. Um, and so how does this work exactly? So let me show you. Um, if you take any column going down, it basically tells you the day and the number of cards you did on that day. So it says November 19th, I did 1,171 cards. Uh, November 20th, I did 875, number 21st, 897. Pretty much it keeps track of the number of cards you did and it's a heat map because the darker the shade in this case, the more um, <laughs> cards you did. So in this case, clearly my last week was really intense. As I told you guys, I've had a very busy week, but on some days you'll see that some of them are light and some of them are not as light. Um, so on this day, for example, I only did 24 reviews. The other cool part about this is, first of all, it tells you an average, which I think is really cool. So you'll see for me, the daily average is 525 reviews, which means every day I do around 525 cards if you average it out over every single day that I've been doing this, which I think is partially skewed because when I started doing Anki, I was not doing as much, but most recently I've been doing a lot. You also see the days learned, which means basically of all the days that you've been working, what percent of them have you actually been using Anki for? And then you have the longest streak. So basically every day you need to do Anki. That is something that I literally cannot emphasize enough. You need to do Anki every day. And not just Anki every day. You need to do all of your reviews every day, which is why most recently I've had to spend three, four hours almost doing my Anki because I need to make sure I do my reviews because if you do not do this every day, guys, it will not work. And so you need to do it every day for spaced repetition. And so you need to be doing it regularly. And so I've been doing it for the last 112 days. I'd never skip a day. And even if I do want to skip a day, what I'll end up doing is there's a couple tricks I'll do. One thing I could do is do a lot one day so that the next day I don't have as many. Or what I'll do is I won't do as many today, but tomorrow I'll do a lot. But almost inevitably, I'll end up doing, be do, I'll end up doing some. So let me give you an example. I think the Harvard-Yale game was last Saturday. So you'll see here I only did 177 reviews um, on the day of the Harvard-Yale game. And then the next day, I did 1,268 because I had to compensate for my lack of doing reviews. So the point is, when you don't do your reviews, you better have time scheduled the next day or the day before to compensate for it. So anyway, this is just a brief insight into the Anki heat map. It is a very, very useful add-on. It helps you keep, stay motivated because you want to keep your streak alive, kind of like a Snapchat thing. Uh, but it also helps you see your progress. So if, you, if you're seeing this, what you also notice is I started doing Anki very very seriously in the summer so you'll see like in August and even in June I started going pretty hardcore and from June I've had this long streak going um, and so it kind of gives you an idea of when you're starting on key when when you're having gaps in your knowledge which parts you used on key for which parts you didn't use so now like let's say I'm studying for step one year down the line I can go back and say 
oh, I studied neuro pretty well. Like this whole last block is really green and that's all the neuro I study. So again, this is the Anki heat map add-on. I wanted to make a separate video on all the other add-ons, but this is the one of the most useful ones because again, it really helps me track my progress. It gives me an idea of what I know, gives me an idea of what I don't know, gives me an idea of how much I need to learn, gives me an idea of when I didn't learn so I know when to compensate. But again, this is a really great tool to make sure you're doing your Anki every day. I don't know what that was, I'm sorry. Um, but this is a great tool to make sure you're doing your Anki every day. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, drop down any other questions you have. I know that people had a question on this add-on because it was brought up in my last video. But if you have any more questions, let me know. But I have so many more of these videos coming that you just wait and I will get to everything you need because I, at this point, I'm just so into Anki. I like love Anki, it works like a charm and there's just so much I wanna share with all of you. So with all that being said, Thanks for watching. I don't have as much time this week. I'm sorry. I've been sleep deprived. And it's funny because this was my Thanksgiving break. And I, as you can tell, I've been grinding and I've just had to finish some research. It's been crazy. Point being, hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.